Hello everyone and welcome back to Mod Source. Man, this cold coffee is amazing. It tastes really nice. But anyway, back to actual things. Last episode what we did was we almost got at sorting automatic- Oh my god, we're automatically slipping up there, Christ. Take two, take two. Um, we almost got our automatic or processing system complete. Uh, but we didn't quite get it done because we need to power the pulverizer. Which we need another steam dynamo and another aqueous accumulator. Do So before we do that, let's go to sleep because we do not want to do all of this while getting destroyed by mobs. Um, especially as I'm the only one on the server, so the server's concentration of mobs will all be where I am. Which is not ideal. What also isn't ideal is the fact that we are hungry. Um, there's some garlic that we can we can eat, and hopefully our breath will keep the mobs away after that, but I doubt it. Uh, let's also get some stuff off the trees, because the trees around us do give us quite a nice uh, step up for food. There's also some mushrooms down there. The only issue is, is to make mushrooms, you need the other type of mushrooms as well. So here we go, there's an orange tree. Let's go and have it. It's lovely oranges. So, uh, instead of kissing the oranges, we want to eat them. Oh yeah, oh, just get all the all the oranges. There we go. Now I believe these will do like absolutely zero. <laughs> yeah, health replenishment. Hopefully the diminishing returns will be quite high though, so it will be some time before we actually start losing hunger again. Uh, and some more. And I believe four more oranges, please. And uh, we should be good for health. And two. Have we uh, got this tree dry? Yes, we have. Uh, but yeah, this should do. There we go. That's lots of, lots of health replenishment. Excellent. Uh, my FPS is quite low. Um, well, this is a pack with like a bajillion mods, 180 uh, to be exact. So that's probably why. But I'll probably have to to sort things out for for next episode. All right, all right, all right. Um, now I began smelting some things. Uh, it's main, namely copper for uh, the um, dynamo that we need. <laughs> Brain fart. Uh, dynamo. So we want to make this second steam dynamo. Uh, which is lots of copper, a redstone transmission coil, and a redstone. Which is super easy. So if we go into our crafting table and we make that. Here we go. Let's put uh, let's make our transmission coil first. So that is uh, silver and two redstone. Or was it the other way around? Oh yeah, silver and two redstone, and then it's literally just copper galore. So we need two copper ingots. Uh, that is not a a lamp supply. That is not what we want. Uh, it's iron surrounded by copper, isn't it? I'm being dumb. Two, four, six, eight, and there are the two copper gears we need. And then I think we can just use the uh, question mark. Two, oh crap, no, did not want to do that to make the steam dynamo. So, boom, and boom, there we go, steam dynamo. Now, for the aqueous accumulator, we need glass. So, we, one of the things we need is a pneumatic servo, which is glass like that, iron like that, and a single redstone in the middle like that. There's our pneumatic servo. We also need a machine frame, which we might need more iron for. Let's just see. Um, aqua, there we go. Um, Machine frame. Full glass. Do we have everything? No, we're missing something. Oh, we're missing the tin gear, aren't we? Okay. I have a single tin. We need more tin than a single tin. Uh, which we should be able... Is there anything that actually processed through the system? Any tin? Uh, tin. Well, we have two. We have three in total, which is not going to be enough. We're one short. Ah. That is not the best. All right. Um, let's... Smell a single tin or in the chest here. The chest, Christ. The furnace. Sorry, everyone. Um, so, yes. Almost done. There we go. All right. So, to make the tin gear, it's literally stone gear surrounded by tin on four sides, if I remember correctly. Also, that is not how you make a wood gear. That's how you make a wood gear. So cobblestone on all sides, and then we surround that with tin. There we go, tin gear. So now we should be able to make our machine frame like that, and then in turn the accumulator. Uh, we need a bucket and some glass. Oh, do we not have enough glass? 
Seriously? Shit. I don't think we do. We need more sand. One and two. That's how much we need. Um, so we'll smelt that and we'll also make two more buckets because we need two more buckets. Am I out of iron? I think I might be. Let's um, smelt up some, some iron just in this furnace here. Because I need iron for two buckets, because I need one bucket to use in the recipe for the acreage accumulator, and I need one bucket to actually get the water here and make the water sources. Um, Christ, everything is so complicated these days. Ah, oh, the days of the macerator. Ah, oh, well, at least I'll be able to go to uh, Tech It Classic Reborn and do all of that easy stuff, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Awesome. All right, there's the two glass we need. Uh, we're just waiting on six iron now to make these buckets. Uh, we'll just wait for three so we can make the first bucket for the recipe. So, here we go. Bucket. And now we should just be able to do that. Uh, or not. Um, hold the phone. We should be able to make this. Two copper gears. Ah, oh, copper gears. Okay, that's something else I'm waiting on. Um, there we go. So now we can make two copper gears. Two iron there. Copper, 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 copper. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, there's... Okay, we have everything we need now. Alright, awesome. Now, how am I going to set this out? Because I... Okay. Oh, shit. This is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, actually, no, it shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Let's just get rid of all of this stuff here. We're going to have this big kind of back system behind all the machines that's just got this immense mess. Because Thermal Expansion 4 does not have its key pipes and stuff. So we're going to have the dynamo there and then we want the accumulator there and that hopefully connects and then we want a water source there and a water source there and that should be everything we need and then we should have everything just all sorted and the system should work perfectly hopefully. So Another bucket. Oh, I already have the bucket. I already have a bucket. Nice. Uh, so, so let's go and get some water. Like that. And put one of them. Where was it? Uh, over here. And then the second one here. So, water and water. And now this should be powering... Yeah, this dynamo should be filling up with water. Yes, excellent. Okay, everything is good. Now we can just get some coal from our chest here. Uh, let's get two stacks and we can just power up these dynamos. And... Um, yeah, oh god, I'm just I'm clicking all over the place. Boom. Now everything should be fine. The whole system should be working. And all of our ores in here should just be slowly processing through, uh, going into the redstone furnace. So let's see. Pulverizer. Dun, 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 dun. Almost. There we go. And now that should go into the furnace. And yes, that should go into... Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Our uh, ore doubling processing smelting system is under... Uh, it's in play. It's, it's working. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to make a gold chest to actually um, put like all of this coal and diamonds and stuff in. Because uh, ideally we want to just keep this chest for smelted ingots. So, to do that we are going to need some iron, which is currently being created. We're also going to need some gold. Let's prioritise gold in the system here. So if we just replace this iron with gold and take out this ferrous... Uh, and now gold should start coming through. Yep, that's perfect. And now uh, we sh should start seeing some gods in here. Okay. So, first of all, let's make a chest out of wood. And then we want to surround that in iron. And we'll take some gold out as well. Ah, perfect. We have eight gold, which is the amount we need. So, surround that in iron. And then surround the iron chest in gold and there we go we have a gold chest which we can put just next to the diamond one here oh and look it's nice and huge so now what we can do is we can access the diamond chest 
I will take out all this coal, uh, not the gold and the copper, uh, or the iron or the tin or the copper and the gold. <laughs> Christ. Uh, the emeralds, the redstone, all of this stuff, uh, the obsidian, the gems, uh, and we will just pop that all in this chest here. Uh, we want to pulverize or we want to smelt that first metal there. There we go. Uh, we'll put the ore back in there. Um, what else do we want to move? Let's just sort this out. Uh, let's take all of this ore here to put into the smelting system. Um, what do torches and lapis and ink and more gems and Ceres Quartz, all of these gems here. And that should be everything, actually. And this should be enough slots to hopefully hold all of our smelted ingots. Okay, let's put this all back in here. And we will put all of our gems in here. Is that everything? Ink sacks as well. Not really a gem, but oh well. And there we go. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll just quickly put our pulverized ferrous metal uh, in there. And just let that go. Then we can put our gold back in there and there we go. Everything should be dandy. Okay, that is the smelting system complete. Now everyone, let's make a start on our awesome ender quarry. So, ender. Uh, that gives us a load of stuff. Quarry. There we go. So for the, for the ender quarry, we're going to need a diamond pick and a sapling. Let's just get those two and we'll make a dedicated chest for this as well. It's night, so let's go to sleep. Boom. There we go. Okay. Nice. Okay, it's the morning and... We wanted to get a sapling, which hopefully is in the crap chest. If we don't have a sapling in the crap chest, I do not know what is going on. Okay, we do have a sapling. We also have a zombie on fire who is approaching us at quite a fast speed. Get out of here. Do we have any iron? Um, Not any iron. Any armor? Yes, I do. I have full iron armor. Probably want to enchant that as well, just for uh, added, added measures. Look, all the zombies are just coming right for me. Christ. Get out of here. Okay, so... Uh, what were we doing? Okay, we got the sapling and we just need a diamond pick, which is just three diamonds. Like that, and sticks, which we have the wood for. So, sticks and pick. There we go, we have a diamond pick. Now, let's also go ahead and... Do we have enough wood for all of this? I don't think we do. Let's go and chop down a tree. This tree here has not looked fully chopped. Ah, oh, yes, I see it's wood. Come here, you. Ah, oh, Christ, I hate trees like this where you have to get the wood and all the little nooks and crannies. Is that going to... Oh, yeah. That's going to uh, It's gonna cut. One more. There we go. That should be everything, hopefully. We've got an apple as well. Nice. All right, now let's chop one more tree down. This one over here by this uh, castle thing should be fine. So, here we go. Oh, it's another one of those flipping... Ah, I really don't like these trees. They give you lots of woods, but... I know you have to, you have to go through all these nooks and crannies. Ah. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Uh, Christ, that gives a lot of uh, a lot of logs. That's the nice thing about these things. Uh, these big trees. Alright, then we've got a stack from that. So, now we just want to make a dedicated chest... For our ender quarry parts, I guess. There's a zombie over there who's having a pretty jazzy time. He's just jumping with joy at the uh, the dirt in front of him. Uh, he's, this is a new phenomenon for him. Look, oh, he's seen me. Christ, okay, let's go for him. Get out of here. Oh, look, he's armoured. He's no match for me, though. There we go. Did I pick up any crap from him? No, good, because I don't want my inventory to be filled with crap. Uh... Let's make a chest. There we go. Um, and we will go ahead and we will put this chest down. There has also been background noise through the entire of this episode and possibly the last episode. So I will turn off that background noise right now.
There you go. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, that is just my graphics card being a pain in the bum. Uh, okay, pick a single sapling, and all we need now are chests. So, not chests, obsidian. Okay, so we can make four of these ender-infused obsidian with four obsidian and ender pearl. So we're going to need, how many of these infused obsidian things are we going to need? We're going to need two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, plus another four, eleven, plus another four, fifteen. Okay, we need nineteen. So we're going to need four ender pearls and sixteen obsidian to make all of that. So obsidian uh, ender pearls are in here. Yep. And obsidian should be in here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and make four of these. So we are definitely going to need more ender pearls. Okay, there we go. There's our 16 uh, ender infused obsidian. And now we're going to have to go to the nether. Ah, right. Fun times. Christ. Okay. So. What we're going to do, everyone, is next episode, we're going to go over to the nether using uh, Meteor Germ's nether portal. I can't be bothered to make my own. Screw that. Um, and we will go and we will acquire some blaze powder, hopefully, uh, from the nether. And we can make our eyes of ender. We will also go ender man hunting uh, to get more ender pearls, which we also need for the eyes of ender. Uh, and we will hopefully, there's a small chance that we might actually complete our ender quarry by then. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. And I will see you next time.